Um, now, here's a film we made before social distancing, but we thought you'd be interested in seeing it tonight because it's a bit of clever science that we think might be a world first. Here's Ashley Jean-Baptiste. I've been told to head to City Road Station on the northern line of the London Underground, but there's no sign of it on the tube map. So I'm heading up to street level to see if I can find it. So I used to do a flat share around here with some mates and I have no idea that there's a station and I don't know where it is. The address leads me to this unusual looking building. And fortunately, someone from TfL is here to meet me. Nice to meet you, nice Ashley. You. Amalia. Welcome to City Road. Oh my days. I have no idea what's inside. Okay, let's go <laughs> have a look. What is this? It's a ventilation shaft. Well, we're taking hot air out of the tube oh. and we're passing it up to Islington to convert into energy. This is air from the tube? Yep, this is air from the tube. That's incredible. Amalia takes me down the 155 steps into the depths of what used to be City Road Station. Closed since 1922, it now has a new purpose, to provide energy to the local area using the warm air generated by passing trains. There we go. Yeah. underground like this, okay. so close to a tube, seeing it go through a tunnel. And that wind, it just saturates you. To keep the warm air moving, a two meter wide fan has been installed in what used to be the station's lift shaft. Would you listen to that? So Amalia, where does the air go from here? Okay, so it goes, it goes right up back to the top where we were. It goes into the energy center. The project is said to be a world first. This design is and back up on higher ground, project manager Janelle Rayburn from Islington Council explains more. Look at this place, Janelle. Yeah, I know, it's spectacular. Really proud of it, to be honest. Wow. I know that you were previously down underground and you yeah. saw the ventilation shaft. So each time a train passes, that air is sucked up by that massive fan that you saw earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah and it goes over a set of coils and heats some liquid in those coils, yeah. And then via a heat pump, that's taken from about 30 degrees and we need it to be about 70 to 80 degrees, so it's heated up yeah. to a really high temperature and then that liquid is pumped out through a set of pipes to people's homes and also a local school. Really? Yeah, so we heat now in excess of a thousand homes. You would have thought. Yeah. What about summer when it gets too hot? Is there a need for this? In the summer, what we're able to do is reverse the technology. So that oh, big wow. fan that you saw, yeah. we reverse that and we're able to cool the tunnels down below. By using the heat from underground, the energy center can save the equivalent of 340 cars worth of CO2 every year. I'm keen to know what other commuters will make of this. It's, it's so warm down the tube station, aren't they? They're making use of it for a good purpose. It's a really good idea. Well, it, it sounds just like a really smart way of using wasted energy. To put it into um, you know, other people's homes and central heating, I think it's fantastic. It's estimated this new green energy will knock around 10% of the heating bills of some local people. And it doesn't just generate heat or cool air. So you're actually providing electricity to one of the local buildings nearby, but we can also generate enough electricity that we can sell back to the national grid so it can make money as well for Islington. Can you see this being replicated elsewhere, potentially in towns and cities across the globe? Absolutely, because do you know what? We all should be thinking greener. You know, we're looking into wind technology, hydro technology, but actually we have a source of energy right beneath our feet that we can harness. We have harnessed this underground heat source. With underground systems in Glasgow, Tyne and Weir and Liverpool, as well as over 50 sites being studied in the capital by TfL, this is an idea that could potentially be replicated across the UK. 